from everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Jund Super Friends. So we're going to be playing, uh, we have two Super Friends donation decks for today, as you can see here. This first one is going to be Jund flavored, where we have all sorts of awesome big planeswalkers. And our main, like, I don't know if it's our main win con, but one of our main win cons here is is Sarkin that can turn all of our planeswalkers into dragons. So that that tick up ability of Sarkin says until end of turn, each planeswalker you control becomes a 4 4 red dragon creature and gains flying. So we can have any of these other planeswalkers in. Uh, one that I'm excited to play and like a, a good reason to play uh, green here, besides like the early mana, is Vraska Gol Golgari Queen. There are so many little teferis is it time time bender time waster something like that um yes alexis you can of course um anyway there's uh so many of those around and basically i just want to uh play the golgari queen and minus and be able to kill teferi with my four mana planeswalker so that's that's what i want to be doing here we'll see if that gets to work out uh we have domri that can doesn't really the minus two doesn't really matter too much we're not fighting a ton even though we could fight with spellbreaker or like the the token that sarkin makes or even fighting with like a liliana zombie token just to draw a card or fighting with like the ugin after it pluses to take the card that's underneath it like those are all things that could happen but we're basically using it as more mana acceleration that's that's what we have here we're trying to accelerate into all these awesome planeswalkers um and then we have Chandra, which is, which is just a, a really good, solid Planeswalker that helps us hit our land drops. The one thing to be a little bit worried with Chandra with when you're playing uh, this kind of card with a lot of more expensive spells is you can just you can get unlucky and like tick up and exile a 6-drop and you can't play it, and then you don't have that 6-drop in your deck for later and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but Angrat's awesome, um, and that's, that's my deck. So we got uh, some Daffriels in the sideboard against Control, Duress, Daffriel. Both of those come in. Cinder Vines against Nexus, uh, Ritual is set for and Shivan Fire as our anti-creature stuff. I don't I don't want to have too many sweepers because we have like the four Paradise Druid, four Llanowar Elf. So I don't really want too many sweepers. I'm not really wanting to face like aggro too much with this deck, TBH. But you know it could happen. Um, we're hof hoping to face like more mid-range decks where Liliana and Ugin can just take over. Those cards are just so powerful. Well, let's give it a spin. Let's see how it goes. You can see I was trying out some stuff earlier with the deck. All right. Um, John to Super Friends. Yeah. That's Fairy Time Waster. Pretty sure that's the name of the card. <clears throat> Elder, yeah, Elder Spell could be a one of if, if you, if you want to go that route. Because um, we do have like a lot of Planeswalkers that could really... Um, benefit for the, from the extra loyalty. But I don't think there's just like a, a ton of like Planeswalker heavy decks. It'd basically be for Esper control is where you'd want it at. I'll keep this. I'll, I'll draw a I'll draw a Shockland to make this a little easier for us. There we go. Let's go with the Paradise Druid. It's a bad play against Chain Whirler, but against non-Chain Whirler, this is our best play. So we're hoping no Chain Whirler. All right, good, no Chain Whirler. <laughs> it's always mono red. Yeah, deck around Karn the Great Creator. Yeah, there's there's not a ton of real good artifacts in Standard. Um, I've seen a, a best of one deck that looks kind of cool with Karn. That's a mono green Tron deck. Uh, 
Um, I haven't I haven't seen the deck in action. I've just seen the deck list, and it looks really cool. It has that. Uh, Scouter. I don't know what that first thing is. Um, the BTTV. Um, I don't know from just reaction from asking people if they want it and stuff. It hasn't been too positive of reaction in the past. I don't know if Eldrazi Tron's back to being good now, honestly. Um, I play standard every day. Yeah, that's what I do. I'm a, a standard person, standard expert these days. I don't... I'm not as familiar with modern right now. As far as I'm aware, BTTV is just more emotes. I was just really wanting to get to the Sarkin. I'm gonna play just Golgari. Am I gonna sacrifice a land to Golgari Queen? I can plus. I don't have to sacrifice anything. I can just tick up and not sacrifice something. I leave the With that being said, now. step aside. Don't dwell on what's about to happen. Perfect. Perfect, exactly what I wanted. Yeah, I went with the old sack of land to draw a land to play. If they're just going with the risk factor, I'm taking it and going to four. And then I'll be sacking the Llanowar Elf this next turn. We got a two turn clock. Oh no. Alright, so that's a that's a shock plus um ugh, shock plus like an, an extra card here where it's like the kinda likely that they lose. Okay, good. Never mind. I was gonna say that I thought they were gonna just shock me, but I guess they're worried about me just going to six. Yeah, because then I can I can just go to six. It's alright, that's fine. Beast. Everyone is expendable. I really don't need to attack there at all. Well, if I, if I don't attack, you know, because I'm going to be able to ultimate the Vraska this next turn, and a minus nine, and um, make it so, like, I can one-shot kill my opponent. But if I don't attack at all, then if they just draw a burn spell, hit the Golgari Queen, and, you know, we're, like, a little ways away from 
win in the game. It just makes sense to do the attacking. The heroes didn't do very much for you. Iced, um, I'd maybe recommend trying out the I've uh, the Gruul Arcbow deck. I think that that deck is probably better. Very similar, uh, but with Arcbow and stuff instead. Um, sideboard is customizable for sure. I like the main deck, but, or like, well, with that one, I want two Ilrog, one Ronus, actually. Or sorry, two Ilrog, two Ronus. I'd recommend doing that. Arcbow is so good. It really is. All right, so I guess I'm going to get away from Paradise Druid with it being really weak to Chain Whirler. I mean, Land of already is. Also, could I like not play Llanowar Elf or Paradise Druid? Oh man, my curve would be so high. And I'll get, get rid of Angrath for my Planeswalker to get rid of. So slow hand, but our deck's really slow, and we'll see if we can kind of catch up with this Ritual of Soot. Didn't really draw anything to do before, so, before that. Alright, looks like Risk Factor. Okay, okay. Um, no, I'll just Bedevil. I guess we have the ritual set. I guess I should save the spellbreaker. I think it'd be like a good blocker. They could like take out one of their things plus eat a burn spell. Ooh, no risk factor. You want to play with fire, huh? Let's light it up. Nice. Get that exiled. I like it. Good Chandra. It's over when I that worked out really well for us. Do you think blue-white control is okay? Um, I know people have, have had some success with like a blue-white control that's like really based on um, Planeswalkers. I haven't ran into the deck myself. I haven't seen it with all the magic I play. I know some people talk about it like in chat and stuff, but I don't. I don't really know what to to think about the deck too much. As far as um, Blue White kind of kind of goes. Blue White is usually really good against creatures. Like they have like good sweepers, a lot of good enchantment based removal, stuff like Baffling End and everything. Um guess I'm blocking the Chain Whirler, but then they have a burn spell and they kill my spellbreaker and I don't get to trade with anything. It's either that or go to six, and then a burn spell like kills me. The problem with blue-white is they don't have Thought Erasure, though. Thought Erasure is an incredible magic card. You're weaker in, in the control mirrors. Like, Esper and Demir, 
base just have a lot more of having counter magic and discard. I guess I'm only saving two life to block the Chain Whirler. That's probably not worth it. We're going to one just on the battlefield here. Okay. Maybe if we were on the play that game, maybe we would have been able to stabilize. Probably should play the other dresses. Get a little bit more in here. A little more things that cost one and two mana. Up in here. No, I was actually just talking, we were just talking about that deck earlier. I think that's just a best of one deck as far as I know, the mono green Tron deck. But it looked pretty cool. Um, someone was showing me that deck yesterday. I guess we'll see if they have a Steamkin, but they just, you know, attack with Firebrand. So this is a, this is a bad play against Steamkin, but it's a really good play against um, uh, Light at the Stage. Kind of have to pick your poison there and decide to play against Light at the Stage over Steamkin. Um, I haven't had very much success recently with my Grixis list for best of three. I'm going to be uh, uh, tuning a new one based around disinformation campaign off, off stream here and play it in the next day or two, like tomorrow or the next day or so. And give that a try. Oh, oh, I was getting bored anyway. Um, but I don't have, like, a great answer for you right now, Yodeling Kid. Uh, maybe tomorrow or the next day. Yeah, I was actually thinking about moving away from the 4-4 Bolas. The, the thing is, it's... Red just doesn't add anything, basically. Like, Red has... The 5-mana Nickel Bolas is awesome. And that's, like, the only card that, like, Red adds. And so it's kind of hard to play Grixis whenever... There's nothing good in red besides the one planeswalker. Who are you to call me mad? <laughs> yeah, I could see going I could see going with a mass also. Everyone is expendable except me. With disinformation campaign though, you really have to build your deck around it. You have to play a lot of sweepers. And stuff like that, because campaign doesn't affect the battlefield. But I, I, I do like widespread brutality. Ah, looks like they were sitting on light of the stage. So it looks like killing that firebrand was probably a good play, because they they're probably sitting on that light up the stage for a while. Uh, in your sideboard against. 
against uh, Mono White if you're playing Mardu Aristocrats. Uh, you could try Oath of Kaya. Play Moment of Craving. Um, the thing I like about Oath of Kaya is that it kills Benelish Marshall, though, um, and gains life. If you can get a little bit more mana, you can try, like, Finale of Eternity. Or if you go, like, wider, you can go Golden Demise. Recklessness and fear are the seeds of disaster. Hey, what's up, Clockwork John? Vision. Thanks for that resub there. We're going to sacrifice one of these lands. We got six right now. And we have another one under that creature. Well, when you're playing when you're playing Mardu Aristocrats, you do not want to play Cry of the Cardarium. <laughs> the Cry of the Cardarium completely wrecks your deck. Golden Demise, though, you you could have the um, you could have the city's blessing, city's blessing, and at least it even if you don't, it does an exile, which is important because you want all your triggers with like Judith and everything. You even if you don't. Um, have City's Blessing. You you can't play Cry of the Carnarium in that deck. Alright, we're 1-0. Oh. John Super Friends. Starting off. Starting off kind of strong. Yeah, Sarkin's ability is absurd. Uh, all right, that's our deck. We got lands. I was hoping to play against something a little slower than another red deck. But we're drawing well. It's our second time drawing a Gruul Spellbreaker right whenever we could use it. I got a white green deck that has Wander in the sideboard. When's the best time to board in the Wander? All right, you want it, you want the Wander against um, bigger Gruul creature decks, you know, like decks with Gruul Spellbreaker, or if they have you know like Ilrog, like that kind of stuff. So bigger like Gruul creature decks, you know, with Rekindling Phoenix. You want it against um, Drakes that can have like Crackling Drake and um, Enigma Drake that can be really big. Um, if you play against any Nicol Bolas deck, uh, like a Grixis deck that has the 4-4 Nicol Bolas creature, you want it there. And besides those, it's also just good at protecting your creatures from burn spells. So against like red, if you have a good amount of like other creatures that you want to help protect, you can do that also. But then you do need to help, you do need to protect the Wanderer though, because the Wanderer is fragile on its own in that kind of matchup and sometimes if you're bringing it in from the sideboard sometimes you play against a red opponent that brings in rekindling phoenix also and you can snag one of those i don't think we know who the wanderer is ow Ooh. Skolgari Queen's been really impressive. <laughs> I 
That's Emrakul. Emrakul is the Wanderer. Nobody would ever expect Emrakul to be the Wanderer. Stop having risk factors. Ow. Looks like they're debating whether or not to use the yeah use the lightning strike on the Vraska. Okay, so we're gonna go down to five, but then go up to six. Feel the heat of my flame. We're just gonna take up, make this Mighty a two-turn clock. Power. Also get Sarkin at six loyalty. Hey, um, sack one of these red green lands. Go up to six. And hope that we can just attack for eight next turn. And that's no cards in hand now. They cannot risk factor, so that should be game. Okay. I think they need to risk factor first and I don't know I guess they're just hoping to hit double burn spell I will call the dragons all right time to call the dragons Sargon hits hard Yeah, I'm liking this the Sarkin Vraska combo. Looking pretty nice. So if I cut Paradise Druid, it does make my deck real slow. But oh well. What else did I do? What was the other two? Ah, the Domries. Because they're just gonna be like a three mana add mana for the most part. I mean, I know these things cost so much mana, but... Oh, well. They can uh, do a lot of work for us. So. Sarkin and Kiora is cool. Yeah, that's, that's a good combination there. I was thinking about doing a Grixis list, like a, a Grixis creature list with like Kiora, um, Ilrog, Rekindling Phoenix, that kind of stuff, but then have Hostage Taker to put in with Ilrog, so you don't have to spend any mana, you just put your, you attack with your Ilrog, put in your Hostage Taker, take something, cast their thing, put your Hostage Taker back in your hand. Usually playing Ilrog decks, though, the problem is actually attacking with Ilrog and not having, like, really cool things that Ilrog does. Usually the hard part's just simply attacking. The Jun Devil deck didn't play too well for us. It was too heavy on the top end. But there were some really cool synergies with the Mayhem Devil in that deck. I can't really complain about our mana situation here of having all red-green lands considering my opponent molded to five and now hasn't played a third land. So I can't really complain. Alright, what you got over here? Shock, Wizard's Lightning, Skewer. So I think we take the shock. It's like the one that they can cast. So both these other ones cost three right now. If 
the other card that, you know, considering taking Skewer there, of course, too. Perfect. So we can Shivan, Shivan Fire here. And now they can't Wizard's Lightning. Because we have Hexproof and Spellbreaker has Hexproof. We'll see if we draw another Black Source here for Liliana. Cool, Jay, Jay Green Bean. Hope you have fun with the deck. Yeah, Spellbreaker carrying for sure. Alright, Spellbreaker needs some Liliana backup. I do hope you make this battle exciting for me. <laughs> Good help is easy to find in war. I could minus four and draw two cards. This looks like a fun new toy. Yeah, Spellbreaker really didn't need backup, TBH. That's true. <laughs> so, not gonna lie, I'm pretty surprised that we're 2 0 against Mono Red. But, it's been working out for us. Alright, two wins. Let's keep it going. We're playing until we get five wins or two losses here. We'll be moving over to ranked with Selesnya Arcbow after this. I am almost at Mythic and hoping we can pick up some wins with Selesnya Arcbow and get us to Mythic. I think I'm like four wins away. So it's. So still like a little ways because, you know, even if you go like 4 1, we wouldn't get there quite yet. But we'll see how we do. <clears throat> Alright, love these Paradise Druids. Well, the first one at least. Yeah. Yeah, I am a lot higher on Arc Bow right now than I used to be. Um, really playing and designing around the card. Um, yeah, I, I think it is really good. But before I was concerned about like how you, like what are you discarding because if you need to hit like your land drops because you want lots of mana and all that kind of stuff. I'll coil this. That's not going to work there, buddy. Definitely considering blocking the get to Lava Runner. Because the Druid could just go away to a... Yeah, I think I'm going to. The Druid could just go away to a Chain Whirler. I wanted to... I didn't want to use the Lava Coil, though, because if there was, like, a Steamkin up next, I wanted to make sure we could kill the Steamkin. We're probably not beating the third Mono Red in a row, right? It's just, like, we're, like, due for a loss. Fire brands are annoying. <laughs> yeah, not with that attitude, huh? So 
So no to light up the stage yet. Didn't have anything better to, to play except for just a 1-1 last turn. All right, so we're at 14. You want to go, tough guy? What's that smell? No, I want that land next turn. It's you burning. Maybe we'll find another one. I think Angrath the Flame Chain is worth playing in Grixis a mass. Honestly, I don't know. Probably not. No, probably not. Because you... Because I think you want Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, and Grixis Amass. And you certainly want to enter the God Eternals in your Amass deck. Wheel. Sargon down tick, yeah, that's an that's an option, but I was thinking maybe like Angrath tick up and start getting rid of these cards. Is that crazy? If we were at like 12, I'd be going with Angrath. <laughs> Tick up. Mm. No. Poor Sarkin. Back and watch it burn. All right, so we're down to seven. Ooh. Is that all you got? It's the Chandra for one. Go, little dragon, go. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. And I'm I'm gonna be attacking with the Paradise Druid here no over playing Land War Elf. No steel. Getting the two damage in. So we can uh, Threaten lethal a lot of different ways next turn. Hopefully they don't have like shock plus skewer. But, like the Chandra minus seven. The attacking plus the Angrath. Okay, got game one. Good sign. All right, cyborg plan in action. We'll just do the same cyborg we've had the other matches. It's worked so far, even though I'm keeping in the six drops. It's worked so far. No, sits are not too slow. <clears throat> I had to say it's worked so far. Yeah. 
how to beat mono red. Play four, five, and six mana planeswalkers. All right, now we're gonna need a we're gonna need a lot of help to win this game. Do you need Angrath for this deck? I don't have any. No, you could play you could play something else. Mythic rares like card like mythic rares that cost four and five mana and standard are really good. Just put in a, put in a different one. If you don't have Angrath. Just put in something else. What could you play instead? You could play... Well, Eldritch Reborn's not a mythic, but you play Eldritch Reborn. You could play... I don't, I don't think Vivian would really do a whole lot, so we don't have a ton of creatures. But you could play some more creatures. You could play Rekindling Phoenix. Um, you could play, like, some more... You probably want a little bit more removal without... Um, without... Uh, the Angrass, so maybe you play... Just play some more removal. Um, which, you know, can be anything. Brass is Contempt. For example. Skargan Hellkite. That's a good one. Doom Whisperer. Things good. Get some Biogenic Oozes in here. Why not? You play lots of things. <laughs> I'll block. I'm hoping they have another Steamkin. It's a creature that doesn't have haste, doesn't do anything. When they just have like a land and a steam cannon hand. All right, game three. One time we back in. We're changing our sideboard plan up. We've had bet we've had better hands before. Please don't play Chain Whirler. I need this Land War Elf.
I don't think we're in a great spot if we attack and like trade like Shiv and Fire and Lava Coil for like these two piddly creatures and they have better creatures with cards like Steamkin and Chain Whirler and stuff. All right, see Elf. Come on, Shock. Love it. Exactly what I wanted to happen. Exactly what wanted to happen was sitting back there. They attack in, use a burn spell, we get to trade. Burn spell for Shiv and Fire and Creature. Yeah. I'm not like ever playing you again, sorry. It's like they had to Wizards Lightning whenever they did because they're both their wizards were gonna be leaving the battlefield. What are you What are you not attacking with Firebrand for? Over there. Don't they think like one of these spells, maybe like use one plus firebrand to kill the spellbreaker? If I attack with Spellbreaker, I'm dead to a 3 damage burn spell. I've seen 3 so far. Yeah, if, if I go attack Elf, the fire the firebrand kills the Elf. They can, you know, basically hit me down to 3. I think the only other real option is attack Soot Elf. The, the non-attacking is not an option. It's either throw the Elf out there, hope they draw a land, or Soot away these things. We go to four and we play Elf, but then they just get a, they get a couple of draws. They get a few draw steps before we kill them or potentially kill them. I think the best play is just playing the elf and passing. They didn't miss. It's alright, we had Mono Red miss some in the first two matches. Oh, whoops. Two and one. Wrong way. Alright, we'll see how we play... <clears throat> we'll see how round four against Mono Red goes here. That's a good start. Yeah, either either line can backfire. I don't. I th I still think that was the best line that we had. Hey, what's up, Magic Harry? Good afternoon. I have turn one duress. That's lucky. I have a, I have this one Chandra in my hand. Ooh, it's an opt. I guess that's an option too.
Attack. I teach them not to not to shock. Just to see if their hand is a little bit better. It's my turn. This is just gonna be bad for you. Chandra's exiling Chandra. It's a deal with that. So callous. Let's light it up. Yeah, out of here. Yes, always plus one Chandra the turn you play her, even with no mana. That extra loyalty, you just exile the top card of your library, yes, but it's that's certainly worth it for one loyalty. Because whatever your top card is, is random. You know, it's, if you think about like exiling the bottom card of your library, you'd do that for sure. Because, you know, if you were thinking about doing the bottom card of your library, you'd just do that, and you'd be like, well, I'm not going to be drawing the bottom card of my library. It's it, The bottom could be the top, you know, that's all random, so. The only problem with not using Lava Coil here, like, using Lava Coil here on this 1-1 one -one is, is really lame. But the problem with not using it is if they have Enter the God Eternals, then it turns into a 5-5, five -five, and then we don't get to kill it with the Lava Coil. Which, of course, they did. I know more than you could learn in a thou ether itself serves me. This experience still Presence alone will guide you towards victory. <sighs> Secrets manifest before you. Oh yeah. We're a Jun deck. We're not just green red. <laughs> we got this random bedevil that got exiled over. Ugh, that Liliana. It is pretty annoying when people say good game and then continue to play the game. Get out of here. Ah, uh, no, I'm not doing that. I don't know if the two damage is going to matter a ton. Like if they have if they have like removal spell for spellbreaker, then they get to attack in for one here. If I attack here and I have to chump with the paradise druid, I think I would rather be able to double block with two paradise druids in case like another end to the god eternals, for example. Chart discarding chart. Or a Tyrant Scorn. Uh, question is, do you consider it bad manners to 
say a good game when I'm clearly losing but not quite dead and then waiting for my opponent to lethal me? No. I think the time to say that's not bad manners at all. The time to say a good game is whenever um, you are basically conceding and, and you are not trying to win anymore. And you're, that's a that's a time to say a good game, even if you know, you're letting your opponent attack you for lethal, that kind of stuff. But whenever you are finished competing in that game, it's a good time to say a good game. This isn't your average zombie horror. Impressive, let's reduce the battle to shambles. Truth lies beyond vision. No oh, defeat. What a drag. As long as this Ugin stays around, we're looking good. Ugin winning this one for us. Ether itself, <laughs> yeah, we've seen all of our mana creatures. That's uh, one, two, three. All right, three Lana War Elves and, and all four Druids. <laughs> see, it's all seven of the eight mana creatures. I always say good game after I play my first mountain. I guess that's why your name is Born to Meme. <laughs> Alright, so they're playing Demir stuff. Yeah, Davriel kind of makes sense here. Duress, Davriel. Those make sense. I don't. E I don't even hate like Ritual of Soot with their main win cons being amass things and Terramander. Kefnet's gonna be the card that I don't really want to see. I don't really want my opponent to play Kefnet. Thing is, I like, looking at like our deck. I I like everything that we have in the deck. Basically, I don't. I don't know what I'm putting in like Davriel Duress for. Like, am I taking out Lava Coil? That doesn't seem real right. Maybe Davriel just replaces Domri. It's an, too much of a fighting matchup unless we're fighting the 1-1, one, one, but you don't really want to fight against decks with instant speed removal too much. No, I probably would not recommend this deck in best of one. I think I kind of want to just do that. Call of the day. Our opponent's not playing artifacts and enchantments. I'm not bringing in Cindervine. Never, never bring in Cindervines when your opponent's not playing artifacts and enchantments at all. Just don't ever do it. That little bit of damage is never worth it. Yeah, just do exclamation point deck. We'll get you the deck list. Best way to farm uncommons and rares. As a free to play player. You know, certainly doing of course getting the fifteen wins every single day, getting as many getting as much gold. Uh, you know, you get either twelve hundred and fifty or fifteen hundred gold each day. Uh, depending on um, if you get the 500 or the 750 quest. And remember, every 500 quest, re-roll it, try to get a 750 quest. Um, and then what you do with your gold is kind of up to you. If, if you like limited and...
Oh, I was kind of expecting any gate. Good, evil. Let me pick your brain for a minute. If you like limited saving your... I'll go ahead and attack with Druid here. I think next turn I may... We'll, we'll, we'll see what I want to do. Yeah, they had the, the removal spell. Definitely consider just holding back Druid and keeping it hexproof. Anyway, with your 5,000 gold, you can go to drafting. Like, that's that's definitely a really good way to get a lot of commons and uncommons is, is using that gold for drafting. Um, but if you don't like drafting um, or... Then, uh, yeah, playing like the constructed, like the best of one constructed event is really fast. Let's tidy up in there. Notion rain. Get into surveil tooth and draw two. Cry of the carnarium. Interesting. We haven't drawn a ton of our Planeswalkers in this match. We just keep drawing lands and mana creatures, like after our opening hand. Done a good job drawing those things. Notion Rain's not, like, one of the best cards in Constructed, but it's not embarrassing. Cool, yeah, try try drafting with uh with a gold. And then you know, if you do well you can start after a couple of drafts you start getting enough gems to do another draft and so on. The more you draft, the more you'll get better at it, kind of thing. I'm not sure if Davriel's good enough for eight rack. I could see Well like the the big problem with da I guess the biggest problem with Davriel is it doesn't it still targets. It's target player discards a card. And so basically where I would see it fitting in is like maybe in the sideboard against white leyline decks is like that's like a slot that um there's like a three mana card where each player just discards their entire hand. That's like a good sideboard card in that like is like where I could uh see Davriel fitting into the sideboard. As far as main deck, no, I don't I don't think it's really a, a main deck planeswalker. Three is just a lot of mana for eight rack. Let's get rid of another card. It's not like doesn't look like Davriel's gonna be doing damage anytime soon. We'll just have it be a three mana. They discard three cards. Which, you know, it's a. That's a three for one. It's worth it. We so far got we got rid of a notion rain and a cry of the carnarium plus some card that they can't really determine what to get rid of right now. Guessing they have an enter the god eternals or two that they're just looking for another land. I don't know if that's a great guess actually because now that I think about it, they did surveil over two lands earlier. I guess, yeah, you could you could have Davriel in a reanimator deck. I guess it would depend on you know like what else what the whole the rest of the deck is and everything. But yeah, you can make yourself discard and reanimate something. That's a that's a nice like that'd be a nice feeling to do. Like that'd be a, a sweet play to pull off. Hey, what's up, Jelly Tug? Three-ish weeks of the new set. What's your favorite deck? Right now, my favorite deck is going to be the one that we're about to play, that we're going to play in ranked uh, Selesnya Arkbo. That's my favorite one right now. Hey, Disc Discmaster. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for that resub. Let's get some hype votes in the chat. Second sub of the day. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I have all the cards in Arena, mostly from just playing. Like, this is what I do every day. I stream for seven-ish hours every day. Um, been doing that since, like, November. And so I doing these constructed events so much is how I, I've earned a lot of the cards in the account. All right, we're three and one. And Xavier with the ninth month in a row. Welcome back, Xavier. <laughs> Thanks a lot, 3-1, let go. You get to be on the play? Nope, never lucky. Never on the play. Easy keep. Turn three, Chandra. Turn four, Sarkin. Until our entire hand gets thought erasured here. Fairy can't bounce that thing. Like a coaster. I'll phase through this water bottle is Good to bad rubbish. sweating. Uh, Kaya is not a card I care too much about. So let's play this Chandra. Let's do this. Could have played Domri and attacked Kaya. Just gonna be bad for you. Obviously could bedevil Kaya also. Sorry I'm late. Trust me, I have a plan. You want something banished? Funny, that's what I do. Alright, what do we got over here? No problem. Fire can't solve. Well, can't play Sarkin. Oh, I look forward to seeing you running away. Something smells I think I just want this land in play, even though I'm shocking. I just want that extra red source in play in case, like, Chandra ticks up and finds a forest, for example. I've got it. <laughs> Bye. My Chandra's just fueling their Kaya. Sit back and watch it burn. Well, I guess we're playing that thing. Bustin' Eds is my bread and butter. Weird timing, but okay. I guess I am the don't want me to here. draw a card with Liliana in play. <laughs> Rise. <laughs> Sometimes burying them just, just isn't good enough. All right, I think we should be able to land Sarkin Let's here. Slow this down. I'm not ready for this quite yet. Yeah, they're tapped out. This is going to be sweet. I've got time. This is nice. All right, we'll just see if our top cards will land. What's that smell? All right, oh, get that in. It's you burning. Oh, I'm sorry. Were you doing something? What know you of dragons? Sarkin! Kill to fairies! Kill to fairies! Operation Kill to Fairies. Successful. Oh, that's how it was meant to happen. What's up again? Funny. I had Operation successful. Tend to anyway. That's Kanta. Wanderer. 
I don't really need to ultimate Chandra. If I do, I have to kill Wanderer. Because the damage is prevented everywhere else. But, I mean, I have this Liliana that I want to play anyway. Sit back and watch it burn. I bow to no one. If I were you, I'd just Chandra Minus doesn't do any damage to them Good with this Wanderer them. out. Effective. Come to me. Just refresh your stream if Deckmaster is not working. Man, Sarkin was sweet. All right, Jund Walkers beating Esper Walkers in game one. Hopefully, we can get a cyborg game also. We got some cyborg help coming on in. Coils out. Hmm. Ugh. Ugh. All these cards are good. I gotta take one out. Yeah, Sarkin's awesome. Sarkin's really fun. Yeah, Vines is mostly for Nexus. Uh, sometimes you play against like white decks with a lot of enchantments. But yeah, it's it's basically for Nexus. I think I may take out a Paradise Druid. I think they just play like sweepers. They're gonna like kill all my creatures and stuff. Be a little slower. We still have seven mana accelerants and the four duress. I'm gonna just do that. You know, it's not like these are really good to have in your opening hand, but they're not very good to draw later on. You know, in the late game, you don't want to like be drawing mana creatures. Yeah, nothing wrong with the explore package. Not a bad option to go towards. Two Ascantas? Rude. Of course, if there, if there was just one Escanta there, I, was, I would have been sniping that. Hey, what's up, characters? Definitely consider taking the Discovery. Dealing with you will be easier than you do. I don't think you'll be needing that. Hey, Duriel. I'm doing great. Minus. If you show remorse, <laughs> don't worry. I got this. All right, come on, draw land. Yeah, everything's going good. The They're about to flip this as Kanta, but you know, can't do much about that. And this is why we got Spellbreakers, Operation Kill to Fairy, under full effect. It's only a matter of time. Ooh, getting rid of Ixalan's Binding. Interesting. So they're an Ixalan's Binding deck, huh? Your loss will either be a tragedy or when comedy pursuing or creativity. Defy All right, gotta look for lands. Huh. I knew you needed. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Where do you one or fewer? All right, whatever. Just get rid of another card. A mind is a terrific thing to waste. Dariel's kind of cool. Just three mana, make them discard three. Kind of cool. Whatever. Figure it out on your own. 
The fault is not in our stars, but in ourselves. Um, I'm gonna go Angrath here. I'm gonna go Ugin and kill the Binding. <laughs> Please run. But yeah, let's just get rid of that last card also. Stokes Why not? Forge. All right, four and one with Jund, super friends. No fire, no steel. No more game. Concede. All right, since we're at four and one, this is our last match of this deck. Either we win and we get all these golds, and it's it's really not much more gold. You get seventeen hundred or you get twenty one hundred. So you, that's like you know twenty five percent more, but it looks like you know five times as much or whatever or we lose and we're all sad so this is our final boss so final boss playlist final boss emotes and here we go we lost to mono red we beat Round one, we beat mono red. Round two, we beat mono red. Round three, we lost to mono red. Round four, we beat Demir. And then round five, we beat Esper. You don't really play against very many decks that are not blue black. Like, they're not. Like, playing against a deck that's not a Thought Erasure deck, a Teferi deck, or a red deck. You don't see very many. Of other things. Uh, this donation was for me to build a Jun deck, and so this is what I put together. I put this one together earlier today. All right, so we'll, this is likely a Teferi deck, but we'll see. Could be Sultai. Nope, it's probably a fairy deck. Let's tear this. <laughs> I've seen puppies whine less than you. Less. Less, I say. All right, so Vraska can eat Vivian. The mysteries That's cool. of life are endless. But then, obviously, Vraska's going to die to whatever creature they have. But Vraska will die a hero. Taking out a Planeswalker along with it. Um, yeah. Obviously, Frilled Mystic we just can't beat. So it's just got to hope our opponent doesn't have Frilled Mystic. Cool, no shall I either. Hey, what's up, Dr. Grindle? I don't think you want Mobilized District. I don't think you want a colorless land with all the different mana requirements in the deck. Ow. I've suffered worse. Well, Oketra's kind of just good old GG. Good hand, opponent. Good hand. I could use more Ritual of Sets in this matchup. That's for sure. So we need to kill mana creatures. Those mana creatures are just so threatening. Yeah, back to the wall now. Um, what am I taking now? Spellbreaker?
If I don't have Spellbreaker, I guess I don't really need Domri. Yeah, this is Ocarina of Time. Alright, I like it. We have a lot of ways to kill um, mana creatures. On our way up to getting to Chandra. Oh, cancel. No, I want Lava Coil. It's three toughness that they're going to have. I don't, I don't know. Besides, like they're not going to play Deputy at Detention here, but I think I want Lava Coil so I can have instant speed... Uh, Shiv and Fire here. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Let's try this. All right, clear Are off a land. Screaming? This is just gonna be bad well. for you. Oh well. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of people in here today, Zibaj. We're done here. That's more like it. It's a little annoying. You know, Lava Coil would be looking a lot better for me right now. So how that played out. Yeah, we could have we could have been able to play that land there. Would you Shiv and Fire, you know, would have been better for us for how that ended up playing out. But I don't I don't regret playing it the way I did. Here goes nothing. It's just unfortunate circumstances there. Hey, Thumb War, welcome back for the fourth no month. Fire can't solve. Mm. I guess so. Sub number four on the day also. Oops. I don't know. I probably should have just played Ugin while I could. Like Ugin, tick up. No, I am not making this up as I go. Just waste that lava coil. So much for being able to cast the Ugin while I could. I'm glad our opponent never did anything with Teferi there. Before that, they could have ticked up Teferi and made Teferi at 5. Oh, they just wanted to play a new one, I guess. Then why not just minus your Teferi first? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. And it was lame. This is just gonna be bad for you. Mm. It just adds a loyalty. I'm the best fire starter there is. There's no problem, fire can <laughs> solve. Going infinite. A 
I'm good at what I do. I'll carve it out of existence. Chandra Inception. Chandra Inception. I'll protect you. These girl chamber guardians are really annoying. There's so many of them. At least there's been no Oketra. So that's been good. No Oketra. It's pretty good too. What's that smell? Oh, it's you burning. Man, stealing their stealing their creature. Stealing their creature and then sacrificing it to Vraska to gain a life and draw a card. That sounded sweet. Don't worry, I got this. Oh, I grow bored with this fight. Oh, really? Draw a Hydrocrasis? Boo. I could just draw like a land or something. Ugh. Watch it burn. I am ancient and wise. Heed to my advice. I guess I should have cast Ritual of Set. Yeah, I should have just cast Ritual to kill Krasis. I should have just done that. Yeah, I, I definitely should have just done that. I don't know why in my mind, because that thing cost so much mana. Like, just at that time, I just was thinking the ritual, so it wasn't going to kill anything. Hey, I've had doing good. See if you're worthy. Starting over is the only way. That crisis draw was a killer. This might be a bad idea. So basically, I think we need to be able to double spell, oh, it's you burning, or cast a lot of spells, for example. So I could resolve Liliana in minus right now. I'm just not doing anything with a lot of these other things. I'm at 27 cards. Do I want to like play my two land war elves and then minus and then just draw two cards? Or do I want to minus and then... I think I want to do that. Get out of my way. Waste not. I've learned much from your death. Well, I'm like glad we drew some cards.
Glad we drew those cards. Here be monsters. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> so Angrath's gonna die to the incubation druid. Oh, that is great. Yes, block. Block. Dang it. I thought for sure they were blocking there. Because it's end step that it gets sacrificed. Oh, it comes back into play. Right, it doesn't go back to our hand. Right. Right, right, right. Right. It's deputy. The fire's out. But, the but yeah, that would have been great if they would have blocked and then it would have just got the Liliana right away. Rise and shine. Yes, I'd like to draw a card. Thank you. They were a lousy servant anyway. What a good, mindless minion. Hmm. I don't want to like play the Vraska into a counter spell. They just drew a counter spell. Certainly possible. We've only seen one one frilled and one disdainful stroke so far. All right, everybody in chat saying that I should just Vraska. Yep. I didn't like that Vraska play. I like holding on the Vraska there. We can just wait, you know, just have like a, another thing to do, basically. We just don't really need to. But like we can, we can like double, be able to like double spell, like play the Vraska plus something else. All right, well I guess the opponent doesn't want to keep playing. All right, on the draw. Hmm. I'm thinking Davriel's too slow on the draw. Which means I guess I want a Spellbreaker. We could play a Duress and try to hit one of their three mana Planeswalkers. Or a counter spell. Just have like one duress in our hand. Spellbreaker does attack planeswalkers pretty well though. I'll have the one duress. It'll, we'll probably draw the duress at a time where it's it's blank and we would have wished we would have had the spellbreaker probably. That's a sweet looking hand. Looks cool. Yeah, this could have been turn two spellbreaker. Oh, well, I like turn two duress though. That's, you know, they're gonna play their uh, mana creatures before that. Um, yeah, I'm shock in here. I don't think we need to turn one duress. I think we want. Well, let me cancel. See, I think we want to be able to cast the the lava coil and duress on turn two. So they have a Teferi and a Vivian. Are you kidding me? And both. I'm definitely coiling this mana creature, but then. Which one of these do I get rid of? Um, I guess I get rid of Teferi. Vivian can find other creatures, but doesn't find lands. Draxiak with the Twitch Prime sub. They can't just miss. I didn't go through hell to lose yeah, we have to get rid of now. Teferi Time Strike Waster. Hard. 
Well, they both draw a card, but... And, like, I... But, like, this... This draws, like, specifically a creature. Get out of here. Not dead and Dante yet. West! With that Twitch Prime sub as well. Thanks, Dante West. Whoops. So number six on the day. Would you like to see what's left of scum? This didn't go so well for us. Why can't this be shock? Shock that Vivian. You fight like a city brat. And now they get frilled mystics. I couldn't get the circuit in play fast enough. At least we can try to kill this Vivian. That's why I should have fired the 1-3 to try to give us lethal on a Vivian. Vivian's too much card advantage, though. Looks like we are not defeating the final boss. Can't be the, the double frilled mystic. That game was all about, like, for after the opener, that game was all about who was going to draw mana first. And they did. So, still ended up with a 4-2, even with the loss there. Uh, the deck was a lot of fun to play. That was, I know, those, those 400 coins. Dang, didn't get them. Shucks. Yeah, the deck's up on Stream Decker. Yep. So, yeah, this is Jund Super Friends. Um, yeah. The, uh, yeah, the deck basically worked really well. Um, you know, we did, we went 2-1 against... Uh, red, which was good. We lost to the Bant deck, and we beat Demir and Esper. Um, yeah, I would definitely call that a success. Those are all some pretty decent decks going 4-2 against them. Uh, Golgari Queen was awesome, eating up three mana Planeswalkers like uh, like we thought. Um, these six mana ones just win games. We got to kill a whole lot of Teferis with Sarkin, so that's cool. Um, but, yeah. Rank the deck out of five. Um, I'll give it a three and a half out of five. Yeah, the Domri, Domri could probably be something else. You know, I wanted to to try to build a ramp, but I don't I don't think we really need the Domri in there. Uh, maybe that's Davriel. Maybe I don't know. 
I don't know, maybe that's something else. Uh, I consider playing like a couple of incubation druids also to have even even more mana creatures. Like maybe maybe you just want incubation druid. The reason why I liked Domri is because uh, Domri can like get us to Sarkin, and Domri is like a good planeswalker that's has like a like a you know has a, a lot of loyalty whenever you play it right away, and it's it's a planeswalker that's probably going to be on the battlefield when you play your Sarkin, and you can tick up and and surprise kill things with the haste there. Um, so I really like the, the Domri there. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, hope you enjoyed Jund Super Friends, and thank you so much for watching, and I will see you for another video.